Okay, the next one up is your curriculum vitae. Don't know if I'm saying that right, but they, print, uh, they uh, shorten it to CV. So if you see something with a CV, it's basically an artist resume that is expanded. So it's everything that you've ever done. You're gonna put still your education and your contact information like the resume has, but this is where you're gonna hold on to all the information, every part uh, or every exhibition you've been a part of, like for you guys, the art shows at Fountain Hills. If you've participated in Dark Skies, that's part of it. So any exhibition that you are a part of goes in the exhibition, exhibition section. Then you're gonna have, um, I'll show you mine. I've got education, exhibitions, if you've had any awards, so that could be anything, any award that you've received. It's better if it's an art award, but put uh, education awards too. Commissions, you'll notice that my CV is two pages. That's okay, resume has to be one page. Your CV can be multiple pages as you get more work because it's like the comprehensive list of everything you've been a part of. Where your resume is going to be like the highlight, this is where you're going to list everything. So a commission section, if you've gotten a big, if you got hired by anybody to do something like a big project, put that on there on the commissions. And then you're going to have, um, probably won't have it, but artist lectures and workshops. If you've ever taught a workshop, put that on there. And then your last piece is going to be the bibliography. So that means if you've ever been written up about in the Fountain Hills Times, some online publication, put that on there. You're going to use the proper bibliography form, but list it. I'm sure that a lot of you have been written up in the paper. So hopefully you have saved those newspaper clippings, but you'll want to put that on there. Okay, number three is going to be your cover letter or letter of intent. So a cover letter, you are going to use proper letter form. So you'll put your name and contact info, the date, and then look up, know who this organization is. So if you want to show you, show your work at a gallery and you're reaching out to them, do some research, find out who is in charge of selecting artwork pieces for gallery, for that gallery space put their name at the top and address it to them, and then put the business name and the contact information, uh, their address there, and then address it to that person. Now, if you cannot find their, the person that is in charge or you are unsure, it's better to be more vague than to get it wrong. So, if you can't find it anywhere, you might say something like, Dear Monorchid Team, so you're still addressing and still personalizing it, but it's still vague. So just a little trick on that. And then essentially keep it short and sweet. So your first paragraph is going to be how you found whatever opportunity this is, or if you're blindly reaching out and like just want an opportunity, tell them why you're interested in the first place. So that's gonna be why you're interested in this opportunity. And in that same paragraph, tell them why you think you're good at that. So list a couple, a sentence or two about why your experience is relevant to that. Second paragraph is going to be any additional skills you can bring to the table. So that might be more personality based. Like if you're working, applying to work at a children's center for the arts, say something like, I'm really great with kids. I'm a positive team player. I am energetic and cordial, getting along with people. So put kind of, that's more of like what attributes you bring to the table aside from just the concrete experience you have. Kind of a call to action. Say like, I, I look forward to speaking with you in the future. You can ask, um, in email form, it's a little easier to say like, hey, I would love to call you on uh, next week. Please let me know what times are you're available. Um, so it's kind of like a call to action um, a little bit, or it can be details. Like I'm also including my resume, my CV, my image list, uh, 
here in this packet. Can't wait to hear back for you from you. Thank you for your time and consideration. Always thank them and then use proper letter form to say sincerely, Courtney Larson, sign your name, and then contact information at the bottom. Again, you wanna keep that consistent between all your, your documents.